Okay, Death of Christmas Cookie. I ran this all the way to the bottom where that metal piece is. And I gotta tell you, they say it's not safe. Well, if you're watching it, you can do it. It's nothing wrong with it if you're watching it. Um, but I wanted to test this out. Look at all it. It's all messed up and everything inside. And I really, I took this down to the very end. If you don't believe me, damn it, won't focus. See? There's a metal piece. Well, the wick is still there. No, the wick's not the wick. Maybe it is. That's the metal piece. You want to see another thing is how this isn't straight. What do you mean it isn't straight? See? The, they put the thing in in the wrong spot on the bottom. No wonder why the damn thing is tunneling for a candle. Because look, it's, that's over there. It should be like over here. They didn't even put it in right. That's like a defective candle. You can't tell. Because look, the bottom is all covered up by this. I don't yeah, This doesn't even come off. So they don't want it to come off because they want to ring it up with the barcode in the store. Isn't that terrible? Um, this is the problem. Like, There's no way to know about your candles. you got to really watch out. It doesn't matter. I got a lot of time out of this. But still, there should be a little more um, understanding when it comes to this stuff. Let's just say this thing... I ran this thing for 20, uh, I said I ran it down to the bottom, but before that I had left it lit for tw over 24 hours. Now I know that's not a good idea, but that's what I did. I think I'm going to keep the cap. Keeping an extra cap is always good, but um, it, sta it was pretty much close to this. And it stayed on for that long. As long as there's something for it to, um, like a little bit of wax or whatever, I guess it doesn't, doesn't, the flame doesn't go out. All right, bye bye.